Simon, Andy. you're organising the exhibition. We are. Again. Yeah. Every exhibition we come to, I end up interviewing you and frankly, I'm running out of questions to ask. What can we do to spice things up a bit? Well, I think, like you, Andy, I'm getting bored by you interviewing me, so okay, actually, thank I'm you. going to interview you. What? I hope you are not serious. I am serious, you completely. Serious, okay, fire away. Andy, I yes, know Simon. you've got an old motorhome. Yes, if I you, do. <laughs> if you were going to buy a new motorhome, which one would you buy? That's a great question. Actually, truly, people do try and persuade me to buy their motorhomes, all sorts of people. Yep. And I just cannot find anything new that does things better than my 13-year-old Leica. Okay. They're nice, they're shinier, they're newer, they're, they've got little, little bits that may appeal to me, but as an actual thing to get about in and spend lots of time in, you can't beat my old Leica. You can't? Right. Okay. So, in terms of innovation, which manufacturer do you think is leading the way? Oh dear, dear, oh dear. It depends what you're looking for, doesn't it? I think the answer to most questions of that type are, it all depends. I think Bailey are doing a great job. Yep. Uh, they've got some really innovative ideas, English, British, shall I say, yep. ideas. Up in Scotland, you've got um, East Newton motorhomes who are really radical. Yep. I don't think they're here at this show. No, they're not. Um, and a lot of the European manufacturers have all got interesting ideas, lift up tailgates and different ways of putting in beds. Yep. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on. In fact, I'll tell you what, wheel home here, I've got a very interesting uh, little feature, which is an electrical an induction hob. Right. So it's a completely gas-free motor home. Um, and the, elect, the hob is electric, it runs off the battery. I think that's really interesting. We're actually going to have a good look at that okay. sometime in the near future. So what should people consider when they're coming to a show? Well, the great thing about a show like yours yep. is that you can get to see a whole range of motorhomes and caravans from all sorts of manufacturers. And you can, it's so much easier than going from dealer to dealer to dealer, sometimes all around the country. Maybe. Absolutely. So everyone these days is a bit concerned about their weight. What about you? Are they? I'm not concerned about my weight. <laughs> <laughs> Weight's important. Yeah. And curiously, we haven't actually pre-arranged this at all, but I was talking to a manufacturer of a caravan mover earlier on. Yep. And one of, it's a new mover. One of their claims is that it's lighter than any other caravan mover on the market. And that's important because the more the, the, the more we go on, the more people want to put into their caravans. Microwaves, televisions, yep. satellite systems. Understandably, but of course, there is a limit to what you can put in a caravan or yep. a motorhome. Weight is very important, and people often forget that. And you can easily overload your caravan or motorhome. And that's actually a very interesting point. You should be very careful of that. Yeah, absolutely. What's your weight? What's your weight? Well, I'm constantly watching You're mine. You're looking It's expanding, <laughs> sadly. But, uh, no, so in terms of celebrities, you know, shows always have celebrities on various days. Who would you like to see at the show? Do you know who I'd really like to see? Yeah. Samuel L. Jackson. That's yeah, who I'd that really, really me. like to see. Um, However, I'm not... being more realistic. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very big on celebrities. I don't read the right magazines. Yep. I believe there are magazines that deal with this kind of thing, and I, I just don't read them. I read motorhome and caravan magazines. Yeah. And as far as I'm concerned, that's all I'm interested in. Meeting you is probably as good as it gets for oh, me. Oh, yes, stop it. Right, referring to magazines, which ones do you read? I do read them all, because read them I, all. Get, I get sent them all, <laughs> and I read them all. Yep. Not from cover to cover, not every single word, but I do look at every single one, caravans and motorhomes and Boats as well. Boats as well. Yeah, I know you've got a narrow boat. Big on boats. That's um, just life in the slow lane, isn't it? That one? Very slow. Yeah. But can I actually ask you, mentioning boat, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, talking about boats, this show a couple of years ago and for many yeah. years prior to that had boats. Yeah, it was the boat and caravan. It show. was. Do you think that we need boats? Or? Uh, personally, I don't see them as a particularly good fit. I mean, the NEC is about as far as you can get from the sea in the UK, so you narrow it Absolutely down to the narrow right. boat only yeah. market. Um, yeah, I'd rather do one thing well than a number of things you know, in an average manner. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, certainly as a market, this is a deal more dynamic 
than the narrowboat market. And how has this show worked? Because this is the first one, yeah, it isn't is. it? The, the spring yeah. caravan yeah. and camping show. So how is the show going? Well, we're into day three now, and uh, actually the first two days have gone really well. We've had a good crowd through. I think the weather's been kind to us, which is a definite advantage and a bit of a change for February. And uh, fingers crossed, you know, it keeps going through the weekend. You know, Let's hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Andy, finally, you're considered a bit of a gadget man. So which Am gadget I? would you not leave home without when you're going motorhoming or caravanning? Well, excellent questions. You can have my job. <laughs> Do you want mine? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, during the recent cold weather, when it yep. was snowy, uh, I have a friend who last winter fell over, broke his wrist, and has had to retire from work because he can't yep. use his right hand anymore. So I got these new things for shoes called snow socks. I'm not wearing them indoors, obviously, yep. but obviously. they're just the same as tire socks for cars and yep. motorhomes, but they're for your feet. And I was wearing them in the snowy weather and they're absolutely fabulous. I feel they saved my life on at least one occasion. Excellent. And curiously enough, that's something I'm going to be packing in my motorhome whenever I go away in the winter. Apart from that, there are so many gadgets I can't even begin yeah. to tell you how excited I get by more. It's really rather sad, isn't it? It's sad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Simon. Andy, thank you very much, as always. <laughs> Cheers.